What is up, Madden NFL 25 gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the basics of the bubble screen, why it was in, why it is effective, how it is used, and how you can make it even better in Madden NFL 25 online gameplay. This is a sim tip of the week series, guys. You can subscribe to that um, by clicking the link below. Hopefully, I can get that sim tip up. It's also you can also subscribe to any offensive tip I put out. This will include sim tips, advanced tips, and beginner tips, and scheme of the weeks. Hopefully that will be useful to you guys. Okay, so why was the bubble screen first put into the scheme here for Chip Kelly? Well, if we talk about a read option, I want this is going to take a little bit to get to my point. Hopefully you guys will stay with me. Uh, but it is very important that you guys get all this. So, 3-4 over. One of the most popular ways to defend the... Excuse me. One of the most popular ways to defend the inside zone read option is with what we call the scrape exchange. You can find that article in the link below. We're going to use SmartFootball.com. Uh, they have put an article out about it. And what basically it does is they're going to scrape. They're basically they're going to switch assignments. So the read defender on this play here. Let me baseline. Let me get a normal look here for you guys. But the read defender, if you take a look here on this play is that defensive backer that's blitzing. So the defense is going to send an extra blitzer and, and what's going to happen here is they're going to he's going to scrape off and s and sit on that read option. So essentially what's happening is is, the, is they're basically overloading one side and the uh, obviously the read option side and the idea is to take away so like here, I'm gonna option play the quarter or play the running back, but you see Clay Matthews is gonna be there so he could take the quarterback. It's a numbers game. They're getting a numbers advantage when they do this. But as you can see here, if I show you the play art, what are you vulnerable to with this defense? Well you're vulnerable to those quick flat passes and guess what? That's what the bubble screen exactly is. And if you think about it, that's really kind of how you're going to be using those bubble screens. That's why they were invented. You know, we talk about all the time using bubble screens to beat zone blitzing. And why do we use why do we use zone blitzing? We use zone blitzing to stop plays like the inside zone read option. So if I'm coming out and say I can come out in that same formation that I was just in, and now I can play play action bubble, call my play action bubble screen when they start blowing up my read option, and now it becomes a chess game because if you take a look here when I call all this play action bubble they're going to be sitting there thinking I'm read optioning but no I'm going to throw that bubble screen now I got a blocker out there and the idea is Golden Tate's going to break a tackle maybe get him in the open field against some linebackers and let him make some plays that's why the spread offense because you have to you have to guard against this so when you see teams not have an outside linebacker over that slot receiver audible to your bubble screen throw a quick pass out there and you want to get out there now one thing I want to uh, quickly note here one way that some gamers have used the bubble screen in Madden NFL 25 to make it a little bit more effective is they'll put that receiver on a flat route. You can do that by hot routing him by using YY on Xbox 360 and then hitting left trigger to put him on a flat route. Or PlayStation 3, it would be triangle, triangle, um, and then the L1 button to put him on that flat route. And so here you see, now the flat route's going to get a little bit better blocking as you see to the outside, and you're still going to get those quick 5-7 yards. This is going to be a natty, uh, you know, a very annoying play for defenses to have to defend, so now we can audible back to our read option because they've now audible to a cover 3, and now they have to guard against that. So you see, there's a safety right over the top of Golden Tate. Now I can go back to my read option, and I still have that numbers advantage. That is how we like to use the bubble screen in combination with the read option to create a very difficult offense to have to defend against. Stay tuned next week where we'll talk about how to defend the triple option in Madden NFL 25 from a sim standpoint. Thank you so much for your